It's time for the one and only Anne Widdicombe. Now, look, pensioners have been left reeling after being entirely overlooked in Jeremy Hunt's prudent spring budget. The landmark two pence cut to national insurance does nothing to help anyone aged 66 or older, meaning that they've been denied £900 of tax giveaways in the last six months. Hunt also refused to cut or make changes to inheritance tax. As a result, Britain's elderly are now facing a tax burden like never before. The average income tax bill for retirees rising by more than £400 a year since the Tories came into power in 2010. Pensioners with a private retirement income equal to the state pension have seen their average tax rate almost triple from 3% to 8%. And I don't think this is fair. And why are the Tories turning on older voters? Well, heaven only knows, because, I mean, the simple fact is that some 60% uh, of pensioners uh, vote Tory. So the Tories are actually turning on one of the most uh, important sources of support for them. I mean, it, it appears that they've just got a lemming instinct, quite honestly. Uh, and um, it, not only that, I mean, quite obviously, goodness only knows why they're doing it. It's totally chaotic, given their own self-interest. Uh, but it's also pretty cruel uh, because pensioners, and particularly older pensioners, mm. um, can't really influence their situation. You know, they can't go out and work and say, well, I'll do an extra job or something, or I'll take a weekend job. Uh, and they do rely uh, on what they've saved and on what they've provided for themselves, and the government has taxed it and taxed it and taxed it. Yeah, it was political suicide, though, isn't it? And also, I would argue as well, morally unconscionable. People who've paid tax all their lives, and if they've got any savings, saved up all their lives, are now being taxed on that to fund millions of young people who can't be bothered to work and millions of people who we've let into the country who don't work. Well, yes, that sums it up, and, and that is why I don't expect to find pensioners voting Tory at the next election. I think they ought to look at reforms policies. They might be quite reassured. What are those policies out of interest? Well, at the very least, we're going to uh, reduce uh, tax. Now, um, pensioners pay tax on their private pensions. They pay uh, tax if they have a very little above the state pension. Uh, and um, because of the thresholds, which have been frozen now, uh, you know, year after year, um, they're paying more and more tax. Uh, so we will certainly be doing that, mm. and we will i be looking at pensioners because pensioners have served this country extremely well. And there's a tendency to regard them as a bit of a nuisance. You know, they impose on the health service and they impose on the social care system. Well, actually, we ought to be extremely grateful for pensioners. No, yeah, we, we, we should be. And uh, uh, there's a few stories going around at the moment that highlight to me how we treat our greatest generation and all of it makes me feel deeply uncomfortable. Uh, look, we're going to move on from that now and talk about this. The Archbishop of Wokery, some call him Justin Welby, he's accused MPs of hate speech, right? He said that in the last few weeks it's all got too much. He hasn't named any names. He's also revealed he now carries a panic alarm. He suggests his links to his opposition for the Rwanda plan. Is he playing the victim card here, Anne, do you think? Obviously we really hope he doesn't come to any harm, I'm not saying that, but do you think he is playing the victim card here and, and actually maybe put us at risk a bit. Well, I mean, I don't see why he shouldn't carry a panic alarm if he's got any reason uh, to fear a threat. But what I do take exception to uh, is the accusation that MPs have indulged in, uh, in hate speech. I mean, MPs say how they see the situation is. Um, and if they uh, believe that Rwanda uh, is the solution to the immigration crisis, I don't because it's not happening at the moment. Mm. Um, or if they believe uh, that um, the, the Palestine marches are out of hand, they are entitled to say so. And I think the Archbishop, they should be very careful about using phrases like hate speech. This is the leader of the established Christian church in this country. And if he doesn't know what hate is, he doesn't know the biblical definition of hate, then heaven help the rest of us. Mm. No, Anne, I, it's time for something completely different to round this hour off, OK? Your star turn on Celebrity Big Brother. You finished runner-up in the 2018 series after learning a thing or two about hair straighteners, I believe, Anne. So this year, Kate Middleton's wayward uncle Gary Goldsmith is the one causing quite a stir, and now he's called for runaway royals Harry and Meghan to lose their titles. But for a really father judging. to see two beloved sons warring that way is heartbreaking. I, I, I genuinely think... Yeah.
that they should take the titles away. Take, take the titles. Do you? Yeah. <sighs> should they, Anne? Well, I, there may be a moral case for it, but if I were advising His Majesty, I would say don't do that, you know, don't escalate the situation. They're the ones causing the trouble. Let it stay the way. They're the ones indulging in what the Archbishop would doubtless call hate speech. You know, let it stay that way. Don't up the ante from Buckingham Palace. I, I, I just think common sense says just don't go down that particular route. Mm. I, and, and can I just say as well, when I was tossing up during the production meeting today, the amount of different star turns that you've had on a variety of different reality TV shows, we are, we are in the presence of a genuine national treasure here, Anne. So well done, you. Thank you very much for always doing such a great job on this show as well. It is much appreciated. You take care. That is the wonderful Anne Whittaker.